Hi guys here, it's Ghost Shot with uh, Support for Sam Entertainment, here to bring you some Star Wars The Old Republic PvP with my Vanguard. <clears throat> uh, I've been PvPing in Star Wars The Old Republic for a little bit now. Uh, when it first came out, I was a founder, played it a lot. Uh, I stopped due to some bugs and stuff and I had an old computer. Now I have a new, beautiful computer which is amazing. Uh, it runs everything super silky smooth. Uh, right now today I'm going to be PvPing right now on Alderaan with my level 22 Vanguard. I have a level 50 commando on another server. If anyone wants to see just some commando vids and stuff like that, let me know. I'll do it. Uh, I'm working my way up with all my characters, but right now this is pretty much my main. I really like the the feel of the Vanguard class. The tanky DPS is basically what I'm doing with him. Um, a guy named Yojack has been helping me with my build. We've been going through a lot of stuff. Um, basically what it is is I go up my tank tree. Uh, with some of my tactics, which is my middle tree, uh, and I just roll with basically DPS gear. Uh, it makes me tanky enough that I don't get bursted down, and it makes me do enough damage where you go, oh crap, this guy could possibly kill me if I screw this up. Uh, right now I'm playing as Frederick, my vanguard. He He's pretty good. He's pretty good. He's usually always top of the leaderboard, stuff like that, uh, because of this build that the guy, Wojak, uh, big and wow, he was a dual wielding. Rogue, he dual wielded glaives. Uh, he's really big into that. Got a lot of people into that. Uh, he's amazing. If you go to the Star Wars community, go to the trooper section. He has a sticky thread. If you want to go Vanguard, swear by his builds. Swear by what he says. He does a very, very good job with basically everything. Um, there's another thing. If anybody has any tips, any ideas, they want to know anything, feel free, I'll message you back, I'll have a conversation with you, um, and feel free to write QQ noob, you suck, GG, <laughs> you know, any type of feedback is good, it's always, it's always good. Well, it's going to be a short video, about 13 minutes, Warzone's over pretty quick. Um, right now you can see we're all speedering in, you know, woo, <laughs> we got speeders, mm -mm -mm -mm. I put my guard on uh, on a squishy character because I usually roll ion cell. That extra armor is fantastic. Uh, right now, I'm looking for the squishiest target because I'm going to harpoon and pull them to us. Um, their squishies stay far enough back, but their melee rushes us. I see that a marauder jumps in on a sage. Right now, I'm going to pop a quick taunt on him like that, reduce the damage to that sage. Uh, we're going to burst him down pretty easy. He's squishy. He's a marauder. He's not going to pop his cooldowns this early. Um, so we burst him down. I see another DPS. He's arranged. I'm going to pull him to us. Uh, pretty much going to ruin his day. Uh, he's squishy. The three of us are just going to collapse on him. Uh, to the left of me, I could see that our team's doing good holding the node. Uh, so now we come into this fight. I like to AOE when snipers first get in the cover because they, usually they won't move. They'll eat the full channel effect because once they're in cover, they think, oh my god, I'm in cover. I'm Jesus. Uh. As for Capinus, I noticed something weird. They haven't captured Snow or Grass. So I'm thinking they sent heavier units right and left as we grabbed the mid. So right now I'm going to go see what's going on. Uh, I jump over. I see that they're capping the node. There's about two or three there. I pop out to see that there's uh, three there. Now, one of the things is communication. Communication is very, very big in PvP. Uh, I'll reiterate this through the video that PvP is communication. If you communicate, you win the match. But it's pubs, it's hard, it's pre-50, PvP, you know. Uh, so I see a guy jump down. I said, okay, maybe we have a chance at this. Maybe some more teammates will follow. I see we have a third one. He leapt in a little bit early. Uh, this Marauder comes from under there. We start attacking him at the moment. And as we're attacking him, he pops his stealth. I get pulled in, stunned. Not so good. Um, it's terrible. I'm on fire. We burst down a squishy pretty easy. I'm pretty tanky. I'm taking some damage. I get taken out with a rail shot. Uh, that guy's a power tech, so he's going to have that rail shot up a lot. It's going to proc. He has it on demand because you can only use it when someone's suffering sustained or elemental damage. Uh, sustained damage. Uh, he had me on fire, so he had it up, and I believe it procced when he rocket punched me. Right now, I'm trying to figure out where I'm going, where our team's at, what we're doing. Once again, <laughs> nobody's really saying a word at all, so I'm just going to look at the map, see where people are going, and I'll just zerg and try to help them out. I see we have a level 43 over here. He's a commando. 
Uh, he's high level, he's going to have high damage, I'm going to put my guard on him. Uh, I notice that a Juggernaut leaps on him. So since he leaps, I'm going to Harpoon, pull him away. He wasted his leap already, so now he has to physically walk up to us. Uh, he's not going to have his force to draw upon. So he has to walk all the way around here, and the time he gets up here, we've already bursted down one of his teammates. There he is. Hi, I'm a Juggernaut, I'm here. <sighs> now I have my guard on this guy. He's getting CC'd, he's not being able to put his damage out. I'm trying to get the squishy target out of the way. Nobody else has zerged or followed us. Uh, we have a stealthy come in, but a little, little bit too late. Uh, the fight's already going to be lost at this point, because our heavy DPS is now down due to that Juggernaut, uh, level 47. And now the rest of their team is zerging to where we are, and there's only two of us. Right now I'm on the Juggernaut. I'm try I was trying to look for a more a squishy target. I'm not going to pop my cooldowns there. Uh, it's already a lost fight. One of the big things is, is you have some high cooldowns. Uh, they're usually about a minute, minute and a half, two minutes. Don't pop them if you don't have to. If you know a fight's lost, don't pop it, leave it, save it for that moment that you know you're going to need them. Right now, once again, I'm looking where our team's going. I noticed that 43 Commando is going over there again, 43, 42, whatever level he is. I see him jump down. I see our team fighting. I say, okay, maybe we have a chance to take this node. I'm trying to run to him to get my guard on him as quickly as possible. Once again, he's our probably one of our highest DPS, so he gets the guard. Put the guard on him. Uh, I survey the fight. Eh, it doesn't look too good. I'm trying to draw as much aggro as I can from these guys, try to get them to hit me. I get them all clumped up. Uh, nobody, we really don't have anyone who's going to be able to AoE there. Uh, I pop my shield, hopefully to buy some time, but nothing. That rail shot just eats my shield up. Uh, in the skill tree, they have, uh, when you put enough points into it, it ignores X amount of armor, and it does more percentage damage uh, with the two skills in the skill tree. <laughs> so that rail shot pretty much eats you if you're pretty low health, no matter what, even if you pop your cooldowns. Uh, once again, trying to figure out what's going on, what our team's doing. No more communications, you know, it's a pub match, pre-50 PvP, so I can only hope. You can only hope, honestly. Sometimes the game is lost. I noticed we have two stealthies, they did this all game, they just ran around, didn't, didn't look for a chance to ninja or do anything, they just kind of, you know, we're stealthies. I try to draw them out, you know, oh look, I'm going downstairs, come get me. They don't move. Uh... So now I'm thinking, hey, I'll head over to grass, maybe do some good, maybe try to pull this game out from the gutter. Uh, I come up the stairs, looking for teammates on my minimap. I see one teammate, trying to see if I can get anyone to come. I have a small glitch where I can't talk in ops chat. Uh, it's really not going to make that much of a difference. I see my sage coming in, so I'm like, alright, I'll get a guard on him, maybe. Uh, I pop my AoE, but unfortunately, I didn't pay attention. He had his defensive cooldowns up, so he absorbed about 90% of that, no problem. We have three people here. They have numbers on us. They have four people here, as you're going to see. Someone's going to be coming in from behind us. But two snipers, both in cover. Can't really CC them, can't really get them out. Uh, just trying to burst line of sight, trying to do everything to stay alive for a little bit, help my team out. Once again, I get rail shotted by that power attack. One of the big things I like is when you're on Alderaan, when you're speedering in, look to your left, look to your right, look around the map as you're speedering in, you can get a feel for the map where the enemy is, uh, so you can call something out that somebody else might not uh, have called out. Uh, looking at the score, it's getting, it's getting to that point where the whole team's starting to give up. They're like, eh, we don't want to do anything here, we, we lost, we suck, we didn't communicate, <laughs> everybody rushed mid, this, that, and the other thing. Uh, once again, I put my guard on the squishy characters. Always, always the squishy characters. Get a guard on them. You'll get your medals. You help your team out. Uh, I see a stealthy over here. I'm like, oh, why aren't, why aren't you trying the ninja? Uh, then I get grabbed by three guys. <laughs> uh, I get raped. Pretty much. This is rape. There's nothing I can do. Um, I was hoping while they were doing that, he'd maybe try to ninja it, pull some aggro off me, but he's just going to stealth and stay there and pretend he's really good at the game. Uh, here we go again, speedering in because I am dead. Freaking noobs. Looking at the map, trying to figure out what's going on. And then I look at the amazing purple party in mid. And I said, I want to join that purple party. 
<laughs> Basically, this is the point in PvP where your team gives up. There's no way you could win unless you 3-cap, which is very, very hard to maintain a 3-cap through the entire thing. Uh, so we're basically going to get a Metal Whore in mid. So I'm going to sit here. I'm going to read them, uh, read all their comments about them QQing, about us being bad. This, that, the other thing. We suck. So we're sitting here. We're enjoying our pity party. You know, we all feel bad for ourselves. We, we just got stomped by the Empire. The Empire. Can you believe that? We hate those guys. Those guys are, ugh, disgusting. Terrible. We do not want, ugh. Yeah, ah, oh, aha, one of them is dumb enough to come mid. Let the entire team burst this poor man down. <laughs> I harpoon him in, just to ruin his day. We shoot him down, throw out a high impact bolt, you know. The usual standard rotation stuff. Uh, by the way, right now, since I'm only level 22, I have to use my harpoon a lot. Uh, I don't have my storm, which is basically a charge. Um, so that's my way of initiating... Uh, is my harpoon for right now. My rotation, pretty much, you know, is going to be my, uh, what is it called? My ion charge. You know, it's a little little lightning attack. It does pretty decent damage. Uh, with some of the skills I have, it ups elemental damage. Since it's straight elemental damage, uh, it gets upped a lot. I throw in a couple of auto attacks if I get low on ammo. I throw a sticky grenade, usually as an opener. Uh, stock strike definitely because it applies uh, my passive from my ion cell every time. It's 100%. Uh, it's in the skill tree. Uh, pretty much that's it. Basically, ion charge, stock strike, sticky grenade with a high impact bolt. For right now, until I get some more, some more skills as I level up and stuff like that. But pretty bread and butter. I mean, I have other things to use. I have my AOE. I have my mortar charge and stuff like that. Oh, here comes another guy. I, uh, you know what? I'm going to ruin your day, too. I'm going to pull you as you're AoEing. Uh, just to ruin your life and stock strike him. He stuns me, but I break it. And then I stun him back, and then he breaks it. And he's got full resolve, so. Um, looking for more squishy. Oh, oh fire on AoE. I'm looking for someone to kill. But it's like 20 on 2, so. It, they have no chance of really taking this. Uh, it's 47 Jug, he's like, I'm invincible, I'm a juggernaut, you can't kill me. I notice there's a healer in the back, one of my big things. I like to pressure healers. But I'm in a match, I will either babysit our healer, or I will run straight for the enemy team's healer, like I'm Braveheart, and just completely destroy them and ruin their day. I don't like healers, I don't like letting them sit there free heal, because healing makes a difference. So now we're taking down the Invincible Juggernaut, who's so amazingly good at this game. Someone's capping a node, as you can see, Beam of Light. Uh, we say, no, you can't ninja this, good sir. It's that power tech, so I want some revenge on him for rail shot me all those times, so we're just going to burn him. Pretty much, that's how the match goes. I mean, it's pre-50 PvP, no communication, I don't have any of my friends in there. Um... So that's about it. That's about it for that match. But once again, any questions, comments, anything you guys have, throw it in. You know, I'm active. I'll talk to you guys. I'll give you a feedback on whatever you want. Help you out. And uh, just stay tuned to the channel. I'll be putting up a lot of PVPs. And as you can see, once again, top of the list. Uh, I don't have the highest DPS in that match. Uh, DPS for me. To get higher than our DPS classes, I have to land a lot of really good mortar strikes and pulse cannons uh, to get there. But as you can see, I'm number one. I did my job. I hope you all stay tuned to watch some more videos from me. If you have any requests for any PvP classes, let me know and I'll play it for you. And uh, enjoy the rest of your day. And it's starring Frederick the Vanguard. Remember that.